I'm Kay Zimmer with WebSense Engineering. In this video, we'll explain how to create fingerprinting classifiers in the Triton Manager. This is part two of a two-part series on database fingerprinting best practices. In part one of this video series, we explained best practices for fingerprinting database tables. The practices help to prevent unintended matches and optimize fingerprint scans by doing things like avoiding uninteresting or repetitive fields. In this video, we'll show you how to create a fingerprinting classifier that follows the guidelines you learned. To create a fingerprinting classifier, do the following. In the Triton Manager, click the Data tab. Select Main, Policy Management, Content Classifiers. Then select Fingerprints, Database Fingerprinting. To create a new classifier, select New, Database Table Fingerprinting. Enter a name and description for the classifier, and then select the crawler to perform the database scan. It should be the crawler physically closest to your database server. Click Next to select the database to fingerprint. Assuming you've created a data source name, or DSN, in the Windows Control Panel for the database you want to scan, specify the DSN here and then provide credentials for accessing the database. Click Next to select the fields of the database table that you want to fingerprint. If you don't have a DSN set up yet, configure one now. Click the eye icon for instructions. First, select the table to scan. Then select the fields to fingerprint. Remember, you want to fingerprint fields that will return meaningful incidents. Avoid fingerprinting only one field. You should fingerprint at least three. You can modify displayed names if desired. As you can see, the resulting SQL query is automatically displayed. If desired, you can write a custom SQL query. In the previous video, we recommended not fingerprinting first and last names as two fields. This is where you would join them, as shown. Or, if you have repetitive lines like name, John Smith, title, analyst, you could use the SQL command select distinct to choose the fields to fingerprint. Use custom queries to fingerprint individual cells as well. You can get as granular in your fingerprint as you need. Click View Sample Data to confirm that you set up the fingerprint the way you wanted. If it is not, adjust your SQL query. Click Next to continue the fingerprinting wizard. Here, you set up a scan schedule. And here, you indicate whether you want to re-fingerprint the entire database with every scan or just fingerprint changes. Here, you indicate whether you want to export your fingerprints for use in another network. And then, you're finished! Be sure to add this new fingerprinting classifier to a rule or policy, and then deploy your changes. The Triton AP Data database fingerprinting technology lets you protect your organization's most sensitive data. Use the best practices described in this video series to fine-tune your fingerprint scans and optimize your results. We hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.